I know this channel tends to either handle sciencey stuff or Gravity Falls stuff, but the simple name, The Explainer, can apply to the deeper meanings of things. And while I am continuing to work on my 50,000 subscribers feathered dinosaur special, which will probably be out next week, I would like to make a video talking about a little theory I've composed about my favorite Pixar movie, Up. Up is a Disney animated movie created by Pixar. If you have never heard or watched the movie Up, then go watch it right now. It's a very pleasant movie and well worth a watch. The story of Up follows an old man named Carl. Carl has always craved adventure in his early life and was inspired by an adventurer named Charles. He later met and married his wife Ellie. Ellie also shares a love for adventure, and the two of them make plans to travel to South America. But as the years roll away, life gets in their way, and their dreams become more and more distant. Ellie and Carl plan on having a baby, but the two later learn that Ellie is infertile, and the two of them cannot have children. Many, many years later, the two of them grow old, and Carl is once again reminded by his and Ellie's dreams of going to South America. But before the two of them are able to go, Ellie dies, leaving Carl a very lonely old man. Years pass, and Carl is still alone, living in the same house he and Ellie has been living in for a long time. Out of loneliness, Carl believes part of Ellie still lives within the house. Even as big investors want his property to make more modern buildings, Carl refuses to leave. One day, a worker starts to accidentally break Carl's mailbox, which carries a lot of sentimental value to him. Carl runs out and hits the man out of desperation. This leads to Carl being taken to court, losing his house, and forcing Carl to be taken to a retirement home. The night after the court sentencing, Carl goes home. However, Carl comes up with a scheme to keep his promise to Ellie. He turns his house into a makeshift airship, using thousands of helium balloons. A young boy named Russell is accidentally taken up into the sky with him. Once Carl reaches South America, he learns that Charles is still alive and evil. After a battle between Carl and Charles, Carl finally lets go of Ellie and focuses on the future with Russell. Carl becomes Russell's adopted grandfather and they live happily ever after. Alright, sounds like that's it, right? Man goes on wild adventure and then gets what he wanted? A son? Sounds almost too good to be true. I noticed this as well. And although the movie is directed at children, I believe there is a deeper meaning to Up. I believe that after his court hearing, Carl died. And the whole rest of the story is just him imagining his last moments before death, struggling to let go of his attachment to Ellie and the world. And after which, he lets go and ascends into heaven, his happy ending. Now, this might sound like a very crazy theory to you. Let me support my case. So, notice that the first act of the movie, where Carl is in the city living his lonely life, is very... normal. There are no fantastical elements here. No talking dogs, no floating houses, no great adventures. Everything is very... real and lifelike. Now, only after Carl comes back from his court hearing, and the next day occurs, does the story start to get very fantastical. The rest of the story is unlike the first act of the movie. Carl, an old man, is able to collect thousands of balloons, without anybody noticing. And these balloons are able to carry him and his house high up into the air. When Carl is taken up to the air, he doesn't freeze to death in the stratosphere or get shot down by the government. But out of sheer luck, does Carl make it to South America? By sheer luck, he discovers his hero, the person he has always looked up to, is still alive, even after many years of living in the jungle without any modern medical technology. Sounds a little too far-fetched to be actually happening, right? All the events that occur after the court hearing do not follow real-world logic, most unlike the first act of the movie, which does follow real-world logic. This is why I believe the events after the court hearing never occurred, and all the events that happen after the court hearing are just Carl's imagination. Earlier in the movie, we saw that Carl was a very imaginative person. Who's to say all of this isn't just his imagination? Also, notice that all these fantastical elements seen after the court hearing are related to Carl in some way. Paradise Falls is the place Ellie and Carl wanted to go to, but could never obtain. Charles is the man that Carl always looked up to and wanted to meet. Russell is the son Carl always wanted, but could never have due to Ellie's infertility. It's almost as if the whole second half of the film revolves around Carl, and is Carl's lifelong dream. Almost as if he is dreaming the whole th himself. To add to all this, after the court hearing, Carl is emotionally distraught. His very way of life for many years is about to change. He is obviously worried. I believe after the court hearing, Carl died from this grief and worry. 
To add to all of this as well is, multiple times throughout the movie, focus and emphasis is put on death, as Doug the dog repeatedly talks about death completely out of context. Earl walks up to a tree and says, I forgot to store acorns for winter and now I am dead. Ha! It is funny because the squirrel gets dead. Go toward me, light master! I believe this is also a hint that the whole story is just Carl imagining these things as he dies. Or maybe this is Carl's form of heaven, and heaven is providing Carl the adventure and paradise he always dreamed of. And what about that ending? The ending of Up is what Carl always wanted, a son. Carl lives happily, almost as if he is in his heaven, and this is always what he dreamed for. With this dramatic shift in the movie's tone, from the realistic elements to more fantastical and unreal elements, and the multiple hints of death, I believe the whole second half of the story of Up is Carl's dreams as he dies. Carl never made it to Paradise Falls, Carl never met Charles, and Carl never set out on, on his adventure. I believe Carl simply ascended into heaven and lived out his dreams and letting go of his attachment to the real world in Ellie. But hey, I might be looking way too into this. That's the fun of a movie, it's your decision what you think of and what everything means. So, thanks for watching.